Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about gear. You like gear talks. I know you do. We all do. So this is a Fujika. Go out with this and tell everybody you got the latest Fuji mirrored camera. And I bet they'll think you do. What is that? I'll take the case off of it so you can see it. But it's a... Uh, a 70s era camera. I've had this forever and it's an ST801. I talked about a Nikon F2, a Nikon F recently. This is even less expensive. You can get these for $20, $30. It's got a 55 millimeter 1.8 on it. They also made a 55, one, 55 2.2. From what I've read, I don't know, I've never had one, but from what I've read, the 55 1.8s, they're really good lens, a 2.2. Eh. So take that with a grain of salt. It's got a huge viewfinder. It kind of reminds me of a Pentax MX for a viewfinder, but a Pentax MX will cost you some money to get. Nobody wants a Fujika 801, but Fujika was known for having, Fuji was known for having really great viewfinders in these. And I've seen 601s, I've seen 801s, I think there was a 901. I happen to have the 801 and it's a small bodied camera that you can have for so low of a price. For me, it's like, it's a K1000 with a better viewfinder. It has just a nice big giant viewfinder. And to me, mechanical shutter, Works at all speeds. The meter has a battery. Who knows what kind it is or if it even works. I never check. I never use a battery in these cameras. I just use them as is. This will probably get to a student. I haven't used it much. And it's one of those cameras that somebody starting out, this is exactly what you need. A small little camera that doesn't cost much. You're not worried about it with a 50, 55 millimeter lens. 1.8. You can do everything with that. There's a lot of talk in the film business. Oh, film's gotten so expensive. I even see pros saying it. Oh, remember when film was affordable? Maybe color film is crazy prices, but home develop it. Maybe black and white film is going up, but it's not exorbitant. And you can shoot one raw. You can process it at home for pennies. You can buy cameras really on the cheap. And you can have a look that is unlike digital. Anybody who says that, why would you shoot film when digital is so much cheaper and easier? It's like, because digital doesn't give you a negative. It doesn't give you that look. It doesn't make something that I can archive and hopefully make last for some great length of time as opposed to files on hard drives. I don't want files on hard drives. I don't want to make digital pictures. I want to make photographs. And the idea of People who are saying film is getting crazy prices, you can't get in. Get this. 20, 30 bucks you can pick these up for. And it's the kind of thing where it's like, it's not about the gear. It's just excuses. Nothing is about the gear. It's all about what can you find. If you find a K1000, you can do great things. If you find a Nikon F, you can do great things. If you find a Pentax MX, if you find a Pentax ME Super, any of these cameras, it's not the gear that's the problem. You can find them. They're out there and they're not expensive. You can find Canon AE1s for 30, 40 bucks. I see them at yard sales. The point is, if you go to a yard sale, ask them if they have no cameras out, just say, hey, do you have any cameras? And they go, oh yeah, yeah, there's that one bag we haven't even thought to take out because who would think anybody would want one? And you pay 30, 40 bucks for those, sometimes less. The point is, film is not expensive. Cameras are, readily available. Looking for a bargain? The Fujika ST801. With the 55 millimeter 1.8, I don't think you can go wrong. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. We'll talk more next time. As always, here's the good light.